OpenAI just launched Sora 2, which lets you type in any text to create videos with speech, background music, sound effects, and even multiple different camera angles without doing any editing. I'm gonna tell you how to gain access right now, what the limitations are, and how to combine your Sora videos with a realistic AI avatar and clickable options on the screen to create a whole new interactive video experience. You wanna know how to use Sora 2? Well, to get started, you'll need a code. But that's not all. To get access, you do need to be in the US or Canada unless you use a VPN and you then get five more access codes to share with your friends. So if you leave a comment down below telling me what you want to use Sora 2 for, you might just get one of my last three access codes, but you do need to be quick. Now, once you're inside, this is what the interface looks like and you'll see lots of different examples of what Sora is capable of. And to make your own video, you just need to type a prompt into the box. And I found that Sora actually creates some pretty amazing results from even very simple prompts. So let's say I type in something like a green alien running away from a group of cowboys in the desert. I'll just choose which aspect ratio I want, hit generate, and if I then go to my profile and open up the drafts, in just a few minutes I've got a video that looks like this. There he goes, faster! Stop right there, you hear me? You can't outrun a stranger, range him in! So it's made me a video that's essentially ready to upload onto social media, and that is pretty much the point. OpenAI also announced a new Sora app, which is basically AI TikTok. And within this app is probably the most mind-blowing part. If you use it to scan your face and record your voice, you can then include yourself in any video that you generate with the cameo feature. You can even use some famous faces too. So down in that same box at the bottom, you can just select yourself once you've made your cameo, or you can select another face from the list and just describe exactly what you want them to do or say. And you can create videos like this one. They're coming! You gotta move! Don't look back, just run! Can't let them catch me! Get him! Don't let him get away! Keep going, keep going! Faster! Almost there! Come on, don't stop now! Now, there are still quite a few limitations with Sora 2 right now. Obviously, it's not available in every country, and I find that the video quality can be a little bit hit and miss, especially in landscape videos. And obviously, there is still that watermark on the screen. It will also block you from creating any videos that may infringe on copyright, although some people do seem to have found a way around that. But for me, one of the strongest use cases is using Sora as an AI B-roll generator for your bigger video projects. I've just been making a training video with an AI avatar from Synthesia and when I combine some Sora generated clips with the interactivity feature you can end up with something very impressive. You just saw this happen. What do you do? Try and put the box back yourself or report the incident to your manager? Once I'm inside the Synthesia editor I'll open up the avatars menu on the bottom left hand side and choose an AI host for my video. As you can see you can also make your own personal AI avatar. So with the Sora cameo feature you could use an AI avatar to host your video and create b-roll with yourself in it to go alongside it. Once I've selected my avatar, I'll hit new video and open up the Synthesia editor. And to make my avatar talk, I just need to type or paste my script into the box at the bottom here. And now we can add some Sora B-roll. In the top left, add a new scripted scene and select this blank page option. Now go back to Sora and type in what you want to see in a B-roll clip and make sure it's generating in a landscape image. Once it's done, it's gonna appear in the drafts so I can go ahead and download that clip now. Then I'll go back to Synthesia and by hitting the media tab at the top of the screen, I can select upload media, find the file that I want to upload and it drops onto the canvas. And I can now resize it like this to fill the frame. I'll just drag the corners like this. It's also worth mentioning that if you wanted some B-roll without a watermark and at a higher quality, Synthesia actually has VO3 built into the editor. You can just go back to the media tab and type in your prompt into this box. You can then use the buttons underneath to enhance enhance your prompt and it then generates some custom b-roll without ever leaving the platform. But now I want to turn this passive video into an interactive quiz with clickable options. I'll select the new scene menu, open up the templates library and here I'm going to look for a design that works as a multi-choice question. So I quite like the look of this one right here and I can now customize it. I'll add the script for my avatar which is going to read the question and then go through the answer options and I can also customize that text on the canvas like this. And I now want to replace these stock images with some moving footage that fits my script. So I could go back to Sora and generate something new
new, but I'm gonna use the media tab again and use that VO3 option. I could just hit replace image, type in my prompt, and it's replaced them on the canvas. Now, the final stage is to link these buttons to an answer page. So I want option A to link to a page that says incorrect answer, and I want option B to link to a page that says correct answer. To do that, I'll create two new scenes from the template options and add an avatar voiceover for each of them. Then back on the question page, I'll select one of the buttons, make sure the interactivity switch is turned on on the right hand side, and then just choose which page I want to link the button to. It's as easy as that. Okay, let's look at a real world scenario. Whoa, that was a close one. You just saw this happen. What do you do? Try and put the box back yourself. Or report the incident to your manager. That's correct. What would you like to do next? We just launched Synthesia 3.0, which is our biggest update yet. So if you want to learn more about video agents that you can speak to, the new custom avatar technology, and how to build courses within the platform, you should watch the launch video on screen right now.